Happy New Year, everyone. My name is Mariah, and if you watched the last video here at the Petite Planner, you will know that Erin passed the baton on to me. I'm looking forward to continuing her work and carrying it on into 2020. I got hit with a cold here right at, into the new year, so I feel like I'm behind in everything. But here is my January setup. I got Artist Loft watercolor dual tip markers on super, super sale at Michael's right before Christmas and so I've been playing around a lot with them to see because I got them super cheap y'all and Michael's always has coupons so um, if you're considering playing around with them I'm liking them so far for the most part for January I'm getting a ton of emails P a lot of people are just starting bullet journaling for the first time and a lot of you are scared <laughs> and a lot of you are nervous and it's really not supposed to be that way so you're gonna see some spreads here that are pretty simple you can do I use a stencil for this star theme. I can hand draw stars sometimes, kind of, sort of, but don't be afraid of a stencil. A stencil can help you if you want to add kind of a cute factor, but you're nervous about doodling or, you know, getting artsy on your own. So I used a stencil and then just went in with color. I'm debating going back and outlining all of these yellow stars, but I kind of like it like this. So... Get an eraser too. Now you can see I have to erase a ton because I did pre-sketch all of them. But you can find the list of all the supplies I used in the description. But there's January, bright, ready to go. So I'm sticking with the star theme throughout, but I'm not just going to do the yellow. My favorite color is pink. So I pulled out some pinks from my Crayola Super Tips and also one of my mild liners that all work together to give an ombre effect. And I'm going to do that for my monthly spread. This is a pretty basic monthly spread. Um, you can use a ruler if you want. I did for my initial lines, but then I decided I'd hand draw for you because it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to work for you. And that's the beauty of it. I don't do planners very well because I need my own setup and I'll use a new planner for a few weeks and then I abandon it. And actually in my bullet journal, my monthly spread is my spread. I'll write like super tiny and all those little <laughs> days of the week. I've kind of abandoned weekly spreads. I don't know if that was as productive as maybe I wanted to think it was. So you'll see here in the setup for January, I do go back to some weeklies. I'm going to give it a go again and see if they help. But really your bullet journal is about whatever works for you. So you can see how I've got kind of this ombre to Wednesday and then it goes dark again. Um, that's the mix of the super tips with the one mild liner. I definitely uh, would use the marker first before the pen because sometimes I smear my ink if I use the pen first. If you're just getting started with bullet journaling and you're looking for kind of an affordable, cheap way to get started, super tips are amazing. I'll link them down below in the description. And a lot of times they're even on sale on Amazon. I got a brand new pack around Christmas and a big pack for like five or six dollars. So it's a super affordable way to get started. And if you are just getting started, don't hesitate to reach out, email me. Uh, connect on Facebook and join the Facebook group. Reach out on Instagram. Don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. I am happy to answer, give ideas, and really just support you because this is supposed to be a way to help you. And so it's very personal, but it can also be very fun. So there you can see adding all the numbers. And really, it's just my cute little calendar that I love, my monthly spread in some of my favorite colors. I was debating whether or not I should add the stars, but it is a star theme, so I want to have those on most pages. So here's my stencil. I'm currently using a Pentel Icy mechanical pencil that I actually just picked up from around the house that hadn't been used, and I'm liking it, I think, so um, I will link that below. And then there we go, just your colors, a few stars. And I kind of like it. It's really, it's pretty minimalistic, but with the pop of color, which is t really my vibe right now. If you watched um, on Instagram, I did share my 2020 setup, and it's also very clean, but with a pop of color. And that really, for some reason, I'm feeling more minimalistic, even around my house. 
So here are the weeklies I came up with. I used washi tape. Uh, right there, I had washi tape with stars on it, decided I hated it, so now I have a big blank space for something. <laughs> also washi tape with gold stars to kind of get that star theme. And then here I will set up a very simple one-page weekly spread. I'm, I made two pages for the other weeks. <laughs> that probably was wishful thinking on my part since I haven't been using weeklies in a while. I probably only needed one page, but... We shall see. I wanted to try a few different layouts this month to see if something would click because I do think I could use some weeklies even though I've abandoned them. So we shall see how those work out for me. But like I was talking about just a minute ago, I'm like kind of in a minimalist headspace, I guess, right now around the house. I've been getting rid of stuff. The family is probably like, don't let her come near my stuff because I might throw it away. <laughs> or, um, and turn. I've been organizing a lot. Oh, so in this spread, instead of writing, I wanted to break out brand new stamps. I got some brand new stamps for Christmas, some acrylic stamps. You need your acrylic block and stamp pad. And I would have a paper towel so that you can wipe ink off. I think I have fallen in love with stamps, y'all. Look at this. I was nervous at first. I haven't had stamps because I was nervous. But as long as you're careful and you just take a moment, they're so easy to use. And I just love the look and having the option of kind of, you know, playing around with the mixed media. I definitely recommend having a paper towel to clean off the ink um, from your stamps before you put it away. And then watch your acrylic block as you go, I often get ink on the actual block, and then that is when ink ends up everywhere. So these are just, the markers I'm using here are just my good old Crayolas. Uh, I've loved them since I was a kid, <laughs> and so they, I just love the colors for this. It's very simple. It has some space for each day of the week. It just takes up one page, so you don't have to get crazy to still get your color, get a little bit of a cute factor. Because I started with the yellow at the beginning, I did want to bring it in every few pages. So for this habit tracker page, I've been doing a monthly habit tracker versus I know a lot of people like a weekly, but the monthly I can see more of what's going on. So I did decide to go back with just the yellows on this habit tracker, a fun little handwriting. I'm only tracking um, three habits right now because I just need to chill out. Um, Pinterest, I need to make new pins so every day. Exercise, I really need to get moving every single day. And I need to drink enough water. Exercise and water were goals I was working on and habits um, from last year. So I'm carrying them over. Um, the Pinterest thing, I just need to get better about making new pins every day for both of my sites. So you can hand draw. I will admit I'm not hand drawing right here. I used a stencil and now I'm just drawing it for you. You'll see that, um, let me finish this one and then um, I can just use the stencil. You don't have to pre-sketch it. So here's a stencil and it's a lot quicker. Uh, it's super easy to use. It's just a little calendar stencil that works great for habit tracking. Um, too. If you, if you want a habit tracker that just has like a box for each day of the week um, in the month. So I am going to aim to do these every day this month. I will admit I'm already behind. Um, this cold has really knocked me down. Uh, so I wasn't able to go to the gym like I've been doing. I might add stars later. Not sure. So this next page is really important to me. It's my anxiety and depression tracker. Instead of just a general mood tracker, I am going to focus on anxiety and depression because it is what I've been working on. Um, and with my therapist, I rate my anxiety and depression each day. So I thought I would like to see it in a visual form just to see what's going on. And the stars kind of work perfectly. So I'm going to have four ratings. Uh, green is zero to two. I'm good in zero to two. Yellow uh, three to five. That's when I'm starting to, you know, things are going a little crazy. And when we get higher, it's when I really need some coping techniques. I need to make sure I'm paying attention um, to what's going on. A few of you have reached out lately about mental health and how 
you could use your journal to help support you. This is one way I kind of keep an eye on myself. Um, I'm a busy mom, two kids, a baseball mom, a dance mom. And so I got to watch out for myself. So I drew a star for each day and I'm going to divide them down the middle. And then I'm going to rate, because with my therapist, I rate both my anxiety and depression to look at like a correlation between them. So on one side of the star, I'm going to color my anxiety rating for the day. And then on the other side, I'm going to do depression. So I can kind of see how it goes along in the month and also see how they may correlate on any given day. And plus, I think the stars are a cute factor. But yes, if you are dealing with anxiety and depression, I feel you and feel free to reach out. I'm always here. My last page is my gratitude page. I always need one of these. Oh, and I didn't mention, I switched for these two pages to my favorite pins of all time, Pintel color pins. I have loved them since I was in like fifth grade. So I, they're just my favorite. So I use that for anxiety and depression and now my gratitude page. Gratitude page, I always keep pretty simple, a little cute factor. And then this month I am going to do... Um, a thought a day for gratitude. So I will number this page all the way down and make it, you know, focus on just one simple thing. It doesn't have to be long, but something I'm thankful for. I really want to get focused back on everything that's going great um, as we get back into the routine after the holidays. So yes, but Pintel color pins, I'll link them in the description. I have loved them for a long time. So that is the January layout. I look forward to getting to know y'all more as we move through the new year. And just know if you're a beginner, don't be scared. Take it easy. And I'm always here, so feel free to reach out on social media or email. And subscribe to this channel to see what's coming next. Mm -hmm.